Hi everyone, hope you're doing well from whatever you're watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, doctors are still on a strike, though we are aware that the court has made uh, some ruling on that. And uh, the services are not yet been recovered or resumed in hospitals. With this move, there's other news coming in, which is so sad that uh, finally the hospitals are overwhelmed. And uh, there's a headline in the, uh, is it daily newspaper? There's something they shared on uh, in the daily newspaper. This is the headline they were giving that story. Bodies pile up in mugs as doctor strike continues. So more bodies are piling in the mug. If you read the story, like what was covered from the Coast General, teach, Coast General Teaching and Referral Hospital. There's a story that was covered there whereby all wards is full until they cannot take in any more person. Again, the mock is full until there's no any space to put any body. So they're not receiving any more body in the mock and they're not, they're not receiving any more patient at the ward. That is what is happening now. Then we have the Kenya Kwanzaa here. They have been in argument with the doctors. That's what is going on. So you read that story and you wonder that out of 10 people die, who, who are dying on every day. Kwa watu kumi ambao watakufa kwa kijijini. Utakuja kugundua kwamba watu watano walikufa kwa sababu walikosa matibabu ama huduma ya daktari, huduma wa daktari kwa hospitali. That's another story. So again, if you go and check, you will realize that finally, you know, burials have increased across the country. This is not a story for one place, not only coast region, but across the country, burials have increased. You read the story, you see like someone getting to hospital and then going just to check if uh, the mother will get, um, you know, the cancer treatment, that those who are on treatment, outpatient, uh, you know, individuals, they are not being attended to. So that's the situation. So death rate is increasing in Kenya. Now 30 days from the time doctors call for the strike. As the death rate increase, the government is not willing to listen to anything from Doctors, how about to make We are continuing this final discussion, but just a quick request for those who are watching and you have not yet subscribed, please consider subscribing to our channel. Subscribe as a master. Thank you so much. And again, to all our viewers, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much. And back this discussion now. As all of this is happening, to really tell you that this government is not interested in taking care of any Kenyan, look here. We have an issue with the public hospitals. No doctors. So the only remaining uh, opportunity is the private hospitals. So the solution again is that those poor Kenyans who cannot pay for the services in a public, a private hospital, they are paying with their dear life, you just die. Now, the government that need to help people took on a CEDA and took on a private hospital. Through NHIF, which is now Social Health Insurance Fund, from National Health Insurance Fund, the government is not giving money to these hospitals. So, they have refused to release funds and therefore SHIF uh, people cannot get services using that card. What when HIF services and SHIF hakuna services utapata nayo na hiyo card kwa hospitali za kibinafsi. 
So you just go with the cash. But they're not taking NHIF card. So, you see, even this government is helping to kill Kenyans. Will they be under the to this? What when NHIF, when I end up Australia, Ki, Binafsi, when I'm being NHIF, I could believe we have lipa cash. You don't have cash. You have been a member of NHIF, you have been contributing your money. So, because you don't have cash, and they need cash, they refuse this card, you die. Many Kenyans in a critical condition are dying. Because the government, despite the fact that doctors are striking, they're not even releasing funds contributed by Kenyans to the private hospital so that they can be treated. Mekata kulipa madaktari kile wanataka. Mekata Mahostalizaki binafsi kupewa social health insurance fund ndi watipu wa gonjo. Na pesa ni za wa Kenya. Wana mbao ni wa gonjo ni wa Kenya. What next? So, it will go on record that many Kenyans have died and they are continuing to die because this government is not willing to help them. So about as easy, serikali ingekuwa inasaidia wa Kenya kupitia kwa mwasali za kibinafsi kupata matibabu wa kingojea to solve this problem of doctors. Yes, we know even these private, private hospitals are not enough. But for those that are there, why not help these Kenyans to get this treatment? Ata paka pesa za wa Kenya mbazo wanakusanya wenyewe they contribute ni shida kupata huduma so if the walls are full and you are a patient you are being returned back home where will you go to hospitali zingine zenye wanaongelea hapa hata ni za kibinafsi zimeja where do you go to you are only left to pay with your dear life because you can't afford treatment. And we have a CS for health who is working and making too much noise. Someone said impeachment is being prepared. They should have impeached her a long time. In fact, she should have just resigned. She did not. But she's not even willing to resign. If she had a human heart, then she will have resigned if Ruto is not listening to her. But as long as she's not resigning and Ruto is not listening to her, it means they are in agreement with what is happening. They don't care about those who are losing their lives. They don't care about the sick in the hospital. What they care is what they collect from you. That's why they cannot release your own money to go and treat you in a private hospital. His case statement is Susan Nakumita. William Ruto. He's very clear that doctor will not pay. But they are not even sitting down to negotiate. They are not willing to do so. So, which kind of president will be comfortable leading a nation where the people he's leading are dying like chicken? What one akufa to kama kuku? Where one asama when a president? You, you know, you brag to be a president leading a nation which is very sick. Na ya nataka watu wakutoa ushuru. Watatoa wapi ushuru kama watu wanakufa. How do you build Kenya? When the people are dying just because there was no one to attend to their health needs. You can't be bragging you are a CS for health when the people that you need to be taken care of are dying in hospitals and back at home because they cannot access health services. Here is the can. So this is the situation we are in now as a country. You dear as a party, you can't be bragging to be the ruling party when the people that you are leading are dying just because they cannot access health services.
Yudia will go in books as the worst regime that watched its own people dying from curable diseases just because there was no one in hospital to attend to them. That's all we're going to handle here. Wakenya wana kufa siyo kwa sababu ya njaa. Kwa sababu madaktari hawako kwa sasa kwa tibu. Na serikali hayo kwa tayari kusikizana na madaktari ili wapate matibabu. So Ruto bila atakuwa na masquerade huko nje globe trade eh, globe trotting akiongea what picture will he be painting wakimwona waki wanakumbuka huyu ndio alikuwa watu wake wakikufa kule akibishana na madaktari things like those ones bad image and a total embarrassment to this regime to the CS and the entire UDA administration